Uh-oh, North Korea has sentenced a two-year-old to life in prison. The toddler's family were also given life sentences, all for one particular reason, according to a new report from the US State Department's International Religious Freedom Report. That reason? Carrying a copy of the Bible, which the two-year-old's parents were in possession of and is an offence that can surprisingly land North Korean citizens with the D-word penalty. Religious freedom is written as a guarantee into North Korea's constitution, though seemingly this doesn't apply if you're seen holding a Bible, in which case you and your family are screwed. Why was a two-year-old jailed for life? North Korea's kin punishment practice means that up to three generations of a political offender's family, spouses, grandparents, cousins, even the tiniest of babies, can also be imprisoned or unalive, even if they had nothing to do with the original offence. A UN special rapporteur on human rights in the DPRK said in a 2021 report to the General Assembly, Christians are targeted as they're seen as a serious threat to the loyalty of the state. According to a 2021 white paper included in the US State Department's report, an estimated 50,000 to 70,000 Christians are imprisoned in North Korea. The UN Secretary General said of North Korea, the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion continues to be denied, with no alternative belief system tolerated by authorities.